Let's talk TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitor Systems, right here at Babcock's Garage Studios. What is a TPMS? Well, exactly what it says. It's a tire pressure monitor. It actually monitors tire pressure. You have one in each one of your tires. Now, there's a couple different types. There's the indirect system. You may not have sensors. It uses the ABS system, and it looks if a tire's starting to go down, if well, that wheel speed's gonna pick up, and it can recognize it that way. But most of them today are called direct systems, which means you have a tire pressure monitor located right in your tire. And they're all basically just individual sensors, kind of like a snowflake. Everyone's different with a different ID. So we have to go through a couple of procedures when it comes to tire pressure monitor systems. Now, where is it located? Well, I can show you right here. Here's the rim of the tire, and this is actually a tire pressure monitor. And I flip it over here, you can see it's right there. So what is it doing? Well, it's sensing that tire pressure, whether it's too much or not enough. That could be a dangerous situation. You could have one located right here in the rim, or you could have a banded sensor. What does that mean? Well, it's a ginormous hose clamp. And what this does, it goes around the rim inside the tire, usually opposite of the actual Schrader valve on the other side, but you can't guarantee that. So once again, be careful breaking down those rims. This is actually strapped to the rim and the sensor sitting there actually sensing tire pressure. Now, if you have one of those enhanced driver information centers, you know what I'm talking about, where you actually go up there and it says right front, left front, and it gives you all the tire pressures, each one of them. Well, each one of those are in a specific order and I told you earlier that snowflake each one of those sensors are actually programmed for that tire so if the alignment shop or a rotation gets taking place they take the fronts and they put them on the rears and they put the rears on the front of the car what's going to happen is all those readings are going to be wrong that's not the right tire why because you moved the tire so what do you have to do well you can get on the internet sometimes they have some key on key off procedures hyper putting the air in and out of the tires or the shops will just use a scan tool like this. You can actually go around and shoot each one of the location of the tires. That communicates to the computer of the car, where am I? So I'm the right front. Then the dash says, hey, I'm the right front. So when a tire's going down, you got the right tire. Now this also hooks up to the onboard diagnostic connector. Sometimes they gotta go around and shoot them, put it to the onboard diagnostic and program that information into the car. But, you know, these things also have a lifespan. Um, anywhere from six to 10 years, you know, you're gonna get that light on, that infamous low tire light. No worries now, you guys can handle it. Now I'm John Gardner from Backcox Garage Studios. We'll see you.